coming up. And um, I can tell you now on the line, we've uh, got the mother of one of the two suspects. So Diet Sinaiva on the line with me now. Um, very good evening to you. Thank you for taking the time. At what must be a very difficult time for you to come and, and, and speak to anyone at this time and for your family as well. So thanks for being with us. Um, I'm sure, but what can you tell me uh, about uh, your sons and your thoughts of what they're accused of tonight? Okay, I, I, can I speak now? Yes, you are indeed. You're live on RT. I, I'm, thank you. Well, uh, what what can I tell? It is uh, it's really um, it's a really really um, like a hard thing to um, hear. And uh, being a mother, I just, um, I just what I can say is uh, uh, I am really sure. I am like a hundred percent sure that this is a setup. Uh, the, uh, my my two sons are really innocent, and uh, I I know that my mm, ni neither of them never never has talked about whatever they're saying about now. And uh, um, what I want to say is, my um, both both of them were uh, my my youngest one was raised actually like raised from from eight years. Uh, he was raised in America, and my oldest son he is um, like um, they were really really properly raised and. Uh, in our house, never, nobody talked about the terrorism, and my son Tamirlan really was got got involved in the religion, um, you know, uh, like um, a religious religious politics uh, five years ago. So he started uh, following his own religious religious aspects, and he never he never told me that he he would be uh, like on the side of jihad and uh, whatever they are talking, whatever is uh, talking about him being a loser. He, uh, themselves are the losers. My son, my son would never do this. My son, it, it is a set up. Um, he was controlled by um, FBI like for five, three, five years. They knew what my son was doing. They knew w what actions and what the sites on internet he was going. They used to come home. They used to come. They used to come and talk to me. They used to tell me that you know that um, they are controlling his. Uh, they were telling me that he's a really um, a serious leader, and they are afraid of him. They said they told me that um, whatever is he is, uh, what, whatever computer site or whatever is there, whatever information he is getting, they are controlling him. So how could this happen? How could they? They were controlling every step of him, and they are t t telling today that this is a, a, a terrorist act. Never, ever, this is not true. My two sons are an innocent. I, so I, I do take in what you're up. saying. I do take in what you're saying there, but uh, I, I have to put to you: How can you explain the violent chase your sons were involved in early this morning, the use of explosives, and the use of firearms? I'm sorry. I, I take in everything you say there. That you say your sons have been set up, but I'm asking you, uh, please, if you can. I know it's a very difficult time for you, but can you explain, therefore, uh, what? the violent chase your sons were involved in was about this morning and the fact that they were firing at police officers and throwing explosives out of the car at them. Uh -huh. well, you mean the, uh, the youngest one? Well, uh, I gather both were involved in this uh, early morning chase and, uh, and both were firing and throwing explosives out of that SUV at the time. How can you explain their involvement in that? I um, I do I, I I never believe into it. I never believe into it. I I think that it is. I know my son never spoke about those things, and, and I, I I am a mother. I raised them. They were highly intelligent. The um, whatever FBI, they were scared of my oldest son. They always told me that he is a leader. He is uh, you know they are afraid of him because they think that he is a uh, you know he's a uh, um, he's a leader. He talks about Islam a lot, and uh, they told me but they were talking to my son and they called me officially and they told me that my son is an excellent boy and they have no problem with that with, with him they... so at the same time they were telling that he is like um he is um uh, he, he is uh, he, you know he's getting the information in a really extremely extreme extreme um what is that site so they were um, kind of uh, very very afraid of him Could so you that's foresee... why i think that it is a set up could you foresee any chance at all that maybe, and I know this must be very hard to take in as a parent, especially as a mother of your two sons, but there yeah. could have been a side to them that maybe you just didn't know, that they didn't let you in on? 
my son, my oldest son, who used to tell me everything, everything, every day, every every second day. My son used to call me and ask me, "How are you, Mama?" Both of them, "Mama, we love you." "Mama, um, how are you? We miss you." It's impossible, impossible for them, to, for both of them, to do such things. So I, I'm really, 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 really telling that this is a setup. My son you, would tell me. My son never would keep it in, in secret so I would know whoever would be to you know knowing that if, if there is anyone who would know it would be me mother he would never he would never hide it from me he would tell me that but never never ever even a word Zubaida, no. your son no. your younger son as we know at length is is on the run tonight Boston is locked down the police are looking for him if yeah. by any chance he's got RT on, if by any chance he gets to hear you speak to him now, uh, what would you say to him? I would say, I, what would I say? I would say, save your life and tell them the truth that you haven't been or haven't done anything. That this is a set up. OK, thank you, Zubaida Tsunayeva, the uh, mother of uh, brothers Joker and Tamerl and Tsunayev. Uh, Joker, as I say, on the run tonight in Boston. Thank you for uh, taking the time at what is a obviously very difficult time for you and your family as well to speak to us.